Hello everyone, this is Haku Devine and I am here with SCP-3790 Also known as The Department of, Abnorm of Abnormalities I have number 3790 it's a level 5 top secret object. Containment class, safe. Disruption class, dark. Risk class, notice. Special containment procedures. The door into the stairwell leading to SCP-3790 is to be padlocked at all times, and a single guard is to be posted nearby to ensure no individuals enter SCP-90. By order of the the Overseer Council, also known as the L5 Council, entry into SCP-3790 is forbidden. Description: SCP-3790 is a structure located beneath the abandoned port of its superior cannon and company a warehouse in London and the United Kingdom. The only access to this space is down a narrow stairwell that ends in a short red black door. The door is free of identifying markings A for a, or a small metal a placard just above the door that reads SCP Foundation, Department of Abnormalities. The remainder of this file has been logged by L5 of order, but we break those orders all the time. Lock overridden. Actually, the interior of SCP E3790 consists of several of the same levels, each consisting of a hallway containing four doors to Hooper side, and a graded freight elevator at the far end of the corridor leading to the lower levels. While there is uh, evidence of prior human activity within SCP-3790, the structure appears to have been abandoned for a considerable amount of time. Each of the doors is a solid, heavy metal door with a slide panel covering a small glass viewport into the dimly lit chamber beyond. The doors, some of which are rusted but otherwise undamaged, have at some point in the past had their handles and unlocking mechanisms removed and have been welded shut. The only distinguishing marks on these doors are some small, small metal placards located just beneath the sliding panel. These placards are usually bear what is believed to be the destination for the contents of the chamber, though in some cases the placards have been removed or are damaged. A clipboard holding a legal pad hangs on the back of the main access door. Several pages appear to have been torn away from the pad. The frontmost intact piece of paper contains a list of names and a short note. The remainder of the pages are irrelevant. Let's see the text. I think it's about time. I need to lock down the other sites before I go. Take care. One locked. Two locked. Three locked. Four locked. Five locked. Six locked. Seven unlocked. Eight unlocked. Nine locked. Ten unlocked. The elevator has access to seven end levels of the structure. No recording of the SCP, no record of the SCP Foundation ever having a Department of Abnormalities exists. No information regarding the structure has been documented. <sighs> Addendum 3791 Chamber con uh, Untense. The following is a list of the rooms on each floor. The text on each each door is accurate, and a visual description of the contents of each chamber, if possible. Starting with Level 1. Room 1. Placard name. Vivadi. Description. Chamber is empty aside from a violin and propped in the far corner of the room. The bow is broken on the ground in front of it. Room 2. Placard name. Montezuma's face. Description. 
An ornate wooden chest with golden lace and a large steel lock sits on a table in the middle of the chamber. A quiet, quick clicking sound, like that of a clock, is barely audible from within the chamber. Room 3. Placard name? No placard. Description. Chamber is empty. Room 4. Placard name? Placard has been damaged and text is unreadable. Description. Chamber is empty. Long gashes cover the walls. Pieces of bone are visible across the chamber floor. Level 2. Room 1. Placard name? Ian. Description. A thin and pale man in a straight jacket wearing a blindfold sits in the corner of the chamber. Room 2. Placard name. The Crying Boy. Description. A canvas is set up in the room. A sheet is draped over it. <sighs> Room 3. Placard name. The Watchers. Description. Three vaguely humanoid figures are huddled in a far corner of the room, looking away from the door. The figures can be seen shifting slightly, but due to lighting conditions within the chamber, no other details can be made out. Room 4 has no placard. Description. Beyond the door appears to be another dark hallway. Level 3. Room 1. Placard name, The Infinite Cold. <sighs> Description. The floor of the chamber is covered with a thin layer of water. The interior of the room seems to be considerably larger than its exterior physical dimensions would allow. Hmm. I guess the infinite cold got a little bit warmer than and was expected, huh? Anyway, room two, placard name, Sorrow. Description, a pedestal arrested in the middle of the chamber. Four parallel lines in the dust, consistent with finger marks, imply that whatever was upon it has been recently removed. Room three, placard name, World Without Man. Description, Chamber is empty. Room 4. Placard name Adam's Hatred. Description A bellowing, indistinct black shape is visible in the back of the room. Level 4. Room 1. Placard name The Morning Star. Description a rusted sword hangs on a rack in the back of the room. The door to the chamber feels warm. Room 2. Placard name? Wormwood. Description. Viewport is obscured. Room 3. Placard name? Harmonious necklace. Description. A simple gold necklace hangs on a post in the back of the room, which is lit by a single tall candle. The chamber does not appear to have a floor. Hmm. Room 4. Has no placard. Description. Chamber is unlit. Individuals who look into this room feel a lingering sense of dread afterward. Level 5. Room 1. Placard name. The Heart of Man. Description. Inside the chamber is a single still beating in human heart suspended from the ceiling by a wire. The interior of the chamber appears distorted. Room 2. Tool marks indicate hey, that a placard has been pried off. The word hello is scratched into the metal where the placard should be. Description. Sliding panel is welded shut. Room 3. Placard name. Channel 55. Description. A small CRT television sits in the corner of the room. Something is playing on the screen, but a dark cloth has been draped over the top of it. Room 4. Placard name? Living Nightmare. Description. A diary tent mattress on a simple metal frame rests in the middle of the room. 
A figure is lying on the mattress with a sheet he pulled up over them. Level 6. Room 1. Placard name. Mr. Silence. Description. A tall black wooden box rests against the back wall. It is bound in chains and locks. A bright d purple W is emblazoned on its front in gold trim. Guessing the W might be for Wondertainment. That wouldn't be too surprising, now would it? Anyway. Room 2. Flackered name? The Dead Man's Chair. Description. A wooden chair sits in the far corner of the room. A faint shadow can be seen sitting in it, which disappears upon a second viewing. Room 3. Placard name? Adzi. Description. A layer of ice covers the viewport and obscures visibility. A dark shape can be seen in the middle of the room, although no details can be distinguished. <sighs> Room 4. Placard name is Apollyon's Crown. Description. A silver lockbox rests on a table in the middle of the room. Notably, the exterior of the door is covered in scratch marks, as if by something trying to get into the chamber. Level 7. Already opening to the 7th level is visible through the grade floor of the elevator. The lift mechanism appears to have been modified and can no longer access that floor. So, that was SCP-3790. I almost forgot what I was reading there. This might be the beginning of me reading stuff by an author known as DJ Cactus. This author is known for making in works that exist within what some would call the cactus verse. They also made things such as the floating city, which apparently was the first city of mankind, among many other tales and objects that are definitely worth listening to in the future. So if you like, I like this content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!